Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is going to be a com campaign update for the Sunday game that I ran uh, last week. Uh, we were using the Fantasy Trip uh, game system. It's a three stat based system, so it's pretty simple. And then when they get high enough level, I was going to convert them to Pathfinder characters of fifth level. So it's easier just for me to prep in that system, especially last minute. So let's see, the uh, party decided to take on, I gave them like six different options for quests or missions, and they picked the one that takes them to a coastal town. So one that required them to travel from their town to this coastal town. The coastal town's having a bunch of problems. Over the course of a couple of days of the party being there, they've heard a few rumors, seen a few bounties posted, and attempted to go after a few. So one of the rumors is a haunted mansion on the cliffside along the coast. Another rumor is ghost ships sighted offshore uh, in the middle of the night. Uh, a rumor that they also heard was there's giants running in mixed bands through the uh, countryside they've been sighted think uh, fire giants, ice giants, stone giants, working together type deal. A green dragon's been sighted in the woods. Goblins have been attacking travelers in the woods. And there's a bounty on their heads of two silver per head. Uh, think silver as the gold piece denomination for D&D. Uh, in the fantasy trip, you only have three coins, copper, silver, and uh, gold. And gold, a regular player does not see unless they are dealing in magical items or with the nobility or the really rich merchants. There is a rumor of a hermit cursing any who uses bridge without paying the two silver toll. A, there is a bounty on a grizzly that has been hunting and killing and hunting trappers and fishermen along the river. There is the rumor of a minotaur sighted within the fog. Usually no witnesses are left alive whenever that minotaur appears. So how's this rumor starting? The questions, the questions. There is rumors of a giant four stories uh, stone statue amongst some ruins uh, outside of town that is walking around and attacking those that get near it. The party decides that they want to uh, hunt the grizzly bear and attempt to kill the uh, goblin brigands for money. So they they begin going after the goblin brigands because they figure they're goblins. They have maybe six hit points and the party's pretty beefy overall. Uh, but before this began, while they were gathering the rumors, the mage that's been trying to create a wizard's guild in the, their town they started in decides to approach the town wizard here. This town's ran by a council, not an individual but the town wizard's on the council. So he approaches the town wizard and with his negotiating skills, he convinces the town wizard to be the head chapter of this town's wizard guild. And at that point, he had to negotiate with two or three other representatives of the town council to get permission for a guild hall and uh, trade uh, rulings and stuff like that and that he got all that set up and then the party decides to go after the goblins in the forest they venture for a few hours before they encounter the goblins the goblins I believe outnumbered the party two to one and the party made very quick work of them but before all the goblins were killed, a fog rolled in and a minotaur emerged wearing a skull, uh, like a bison skull mask. 
with uh, indigenous inscriptions on it, painted on it. It kills one or two of the goblins and then it attacks the party. The party manages to do, I think it was like 70 points of damage to this thing. So it retreats and the fog dissipates. Uh, while they're on their way back, they were attacked by the grizzly bear and the party within like one turn, maybe two, killed the grizzly bear quickly. So they make it back to town and then they hear a rumor about orcs raiding coastal towns. And the nearest coastal town, say to the north, had just been hit by the orcs and they're expecting the orcs to come to this town next. So the party has begun trying to figure out how to fortify this town in any way that will give them an advantage and how to uh, mitigate the orcs' ability to surround the town. And that's where we left off. Uh, I had cracked my tooth, so my, my tooth was hurting real bad, so we stopped there. We probably could have played another two hours if I hadn't done that. But that is as it is. We are to game again tonight, so we will see what they get up to next. Until we meet again.